All right, morning. It is day two. Just ate a little bit of cereal. It was pretty cold last night. Uh, Tracker actually ended up sleeping with me in the sleeping bag, but now I'm just getting all my stuff laid out for our backpack trip. We're just going to stay one or two nights, hike up into some high country and sleep over. So I just laid out all my clothes. Uh, obviously, no gear sponsorships because I got Sitka. It's cool. Jackets. That's a good brand too, by the way. Ruka. <laughs> Under Armour Hush. Wild Co. And Columbia. All sorts of stuff. Got my water purifier. Sleeping bag. Uh, pillow. Uh, pistol. Trackers. Tracking collar. Dog boots. His vest. And some batteries. So. Oh, gonna start the day beautiful sunrise check out the sun beating off of these red rocks it's a little chilly but i can tell it's gonna be a pretty warm day so get geared up and about get packs loaded up in about an hour we'll head out and start shedding Trackers got on his. We just put on, just put on trackers. Lewis dog boots. They're supposed to be the best dog boots, but I'm not sure if he likes them too much. We'll see what uh, how they hold up. Might end up just taking them off. I was hoping something for the cactus to help him with that, but hey, quit, quit biting. But uh, he don't seem too happy about it. All right, underway. Uh, Tracker had to stop and take his those boots off. He couldn't. He didn't like them for whatever reason. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put them on correctly, but uh, it was every 20 feet he'd run, lay down under a bush, try to take them off. I did that for like over a mile. So figured I'd rather have him try to avoid cactus and shed hunt rather than. Just try to take those off the whole time. But headed up. We got a ways to go. Uh, probably about an hour of hiking. And then we'll get up to that trail camera and uh, be able to start shed hunting. That's about where we start getting into antlers. No snow. North Slope's got a little bit. But uh, still not very much. All right, made it up to the first trail camera. Luckily, it's still there. There's been a few people that have uh, came in here. But check this out. There's like uh, scratches all over this tree. And uh, my camera's all beat up too, if you look at it. And that's from uh, elk antlers. <laughs> a big bull came through and rubbed it up. And all the dirt in here's beat up where some elk have come through. So we're gonna check it now. So this is the Stealth Cam uh, 4K camera, and after since December it's got let's see 7,000 pictures on it, and it's still at 40% battery. So that's pretty cool. So that's a lot of pictures to go through, but we'll get the we'll get the gist of it right away if it's a bunch of cows or if there's some bulls on there. Check out these three bear p piles of poop. How big they are compared to him. Look at this one. <laughs> Holy cow. That's a big pile of poop. I have no idea if that means it's a big bear or what, but that's still impressive, whatever, <laughs> whatever made it. Alright, we are getting into some elk 
elk sign now. Made it up into the snow. You can see where they've been bedding and feeding in this uh, creek bottom. I checked on my GPS. It said we're six and a half miles in from where we parked the four wheelers. Um, then I checked that trail camera and there's about 10 or 12 bulls that have been hitting it um, since December when I put it out. Uh, a couple big six pointers, one six point with a small cheater uh, off its left side, and then one shed bull so far. Um, but we're not down by there anymore. We're gonna hit that on the way out. We're quite a ways in from that camera, probably five, four or five miles. So we're gonna get up here. If you could see that big steep north slope and uh, look for look for sheds up there tonight and then into tomorrow. It's a shed, but it's barely sticking out of the snow. <laughs> what is this? What is that? Oh, there it is, huh? What is it? Pull it out. Come on, pull. Got dig. Got dig. Looks like it's under a branch or something. How's that one? <laughs> Here. Look, 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 look. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the first one. <laughs> I had me fooled for a minute too. I didn't. I thought this was his front point at first. Looks just like the ones we were finding up here last time. Huh. Well, first shed of the trip, right there. All right, <clears throat> following this elk trail here, we're up pretty, pretty high in elevation, but looks like about a week ago there was some elk up in here. It's funny, I thought I'd show you. Two years ago, I found a antler laying right there under that tree, but it's not two years ago, it's right now, so gotta find where they're at now. I mean, it looks like there's some some tracks, but um, over in the meadows where we thought they'd feed, there wasn't any sign at all. So, and it's not a high snow year, so surely they're not any uh, any lower. I mean, I'm sure some of them are, but looks like good stuff up here. It seems like they like to hang around in this uh, <clears throat> oak brush. And then bed up in these cedars. So we'll give that a look and uh, see what we can find. Oh, hey! Good boy! What is that, horn? <laughs> Alright, Dad just walked up on this last year's white. Looks like it. Yeah, last year's chalky. Or not, not too chalky, a little bit at the base. What is that? Uh, little raghorn, though. We've I don't know if we've ever found, we found two decent sized antlers up here before. But most of them are always that smaller size, so maybe that means they, uh, the bigger ones don't shed at this elevation. Coming through this thick, thick, thick stuff. Very thick and brushy, waxy in your face. But hit this little opening, sagebrush, and was rewarded with a little, oh, little, kind of a big base for uh, that small of a horn, but a little four point tracker. Hey. Tracker was behind me, so he didn't find it. But that's three on the day. One, two, and three. All right, well, sun is setting. Nice day, actually. Pretty overcast, so we didn't get too hot. This is where we're gonna camp tonight. Dug out a little square spot. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cold, probably. But little pad here, a little sleeping bag. Then Dad's gonna put his out too. We got a fire going, some firewood built up. Hopefully, it'll last us the night. Probably eat rice and chicken. We also have a breakfast skillet. Those are pretty good. These are probably my favorite ones actually by Mountain House. 
and what we came came out with today three left sides nothing big but um you know it's a start yeah got nice pretty mountains snow-capped mountains in the background and we actually did hear an elk trot off earlier when we uh, first got to this spot so maybe that's a good sign for tomorrow hey watch out yeah the cactus <laughs> so good day we did uh what was it 11 or 12 12 miles 12 miles today but they're not easy miles because our packs were a little were pretty heavy and uh had to climb up a couple big slopes so plan for tomorrow hit these tops check out the sign see what's up here and then uh drop down where we were seeing the elk on trail camera look for their sheds i know a couple of them have already shed based on the pictures All right, clocking out for the night. Trackers already dead asleep in between Dad and I. Got the fire roaring. Hopefully our boots are drying out. I just had little trail running shoes on, so I got soaking wet today. I'm gonna lay down on the, I don't know if you can see them, but the XO packs. Yeah, look up at the stars. It's partly cloudy tonight, so not as many out but still looks pretty cool don't know if you could see them <laughs> day three tomorrow <laughs> 